Hey Warriors fans, Scott Warris here inside the Time of Grace Center following a women's volleyball straight set win over Monmouth. Now three and one, three straight W's. Bailey Halliburton had a heck of a game. We'll get to her performance in a second. We'll start with the coach. We were just talking off the air for a second here. You're only four matches in, I realize, but we talked in the offseason about the veteran nature of this team, and it, it, there's a comfort out there that I as a fan can see, and I think you guys feel too. Yeah, um, I think that's a pretty insightful word. I'm glad that as a spectator, that's something that you're using to describe us. Um, steady, there's a lot of trust out there. Uh, when it's someone's turn, um, we know that they're ready and they're going to do their job. Let's talk about this match in particular. The first and the third you really controlled. The second one was kind of neck and neck, and you guys went on a little 4-1 run to close out that second set. Your thoughts on this match with Monmouth? Um, I... Um, that was actually something that I pointed out to the girls. I appreciated how they showed a lot of grit in that second one with Monmouth having a bit of a run there on us. But again, going back to our veteran nature, we were steady, we persevered, and um, yeah, they played well. All right, we'll turn to the uh, junior from Germantown. And, and you're an upperclassman now, Bailey. You're a junior. Before we talk about big picture stuff, talk about tonight. Talk about this match. I mean, you were remarkable. 625 attack percentage. For the team, it was 303. What went so right for you in this one? Um, I think for me, like we talk about neutral mindset a lot. So I try to be steady. Our team is steady. We make sure that we're having eye contact in the huddles. Um, that's what keeps us together, and that's what keeps that trust and that bond right there. So, As I said with Coach, you guys kind of controlled the first and the third. The, the second set tonight was neck and neck. Take me down the stretch. I mean, it's 21-21, it's 21-20, I should say, Monmouth, and you guys go 4-1 to close it out. What was the key in those final five points? Well, I think the key is that neutral mindset. Like, we don't feel it in that moment. I feel like we don't even look at the score, and that's what we've kind of been looking at in practice, too. It doesn't look like we're losing when it's – or if it's tied at all. Um, so just not letting it affect us and getting us down and just playing that steady neutral mindset way is awesome that's what keeps us in the game right there yeah that's important take a step back for just a second where did you want to improve your game this off season as you were planning and looking at your junior season where did you want to get better on the court well really my mentality for yeah. sure um also my blocking i think <laughs> I think that's a useful skill to have. So, <laughs> yeah. and, and the blocking uh, as a team tonight yeah. uh, was really good. Yes, for sure. Totally. Yeah. All right. So they've won three in a row, Coach. And uh, it's a busy weekend. It's a quadrangular here at the time of Grace Center. You go two more matches tomorrow against a good Wheaton squad and a good Dubuque squad. You'll go at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. What's the key with the turnaround? I guess it's nice that you only needed three sets to win the Friday night match. But what's the key with the turnaround? Um, honestly, I'm, it's everything we preach to the girls all the time, making sure they're getting back, getting well rested, um, and we're coming in. Um, tomorrow's a brand new day, so we can't dwell on the fact that we won here because they're a brand new team and they're going to come out hungry to beat us on our home court. So um, coming out to protect it. Maybe a little scouting too, I'm sure, in just yeah, a couple moments. Something like that. They're going on behind us. All right, Warriors have won three in a row. They're three and one. Back at it Saturday at 10. We'd love to see you here. Thanks for watching, everybody.